Let's jump into our first color, which is going to be an olive green. So in your art box, try to find a similar color to this if you have it available. If not, you can always just substitute with a light brown or a tan. That will work great because we're going to use it on some of the little circles that we see on SpongeBob's body. So let's go ahead and start to color these in with this olive green. So as you see, it's a really nice color and it's in the green family, but it's not really a true green. It's a different version of green. We're like a darker version of green, but these little holes on SpongeBob get a different color than the rest of his body. Just to show that we want to color them in with this color. And again, you can always substitute to something you have a little different or similar in your art box. So right in here, let's color these last two on this side right by the arm. And once we finish out with those, we've colored in all those little circles around SpongeBob's body. Let's go ahead and move on to our second color, which is going to be yellow. So in your art box, find the color yellow and let's go ahead and now color in the rest of SpongeBob's bodies and arms. So let's start here in the left side. So we can outline it as we go. And as we just colored a minute ago, we made all of those little holes and circles around our SpongeBob, that olive green. But with this one, we want to make sure we color them in and around the rest of SpongeBob's body. And as we do that, we start to see color we know SpongeBob is very famous for. So let's just work around those areas. And as we get into the face, we'll just color around some of these. So we want to not color in the arms and not color in those sleeves. We'll leave those white for now. And we can work our way around SpongeBob's eyes and also the top of SpongeBob's body. I thought this would be a very fun page for us to do together because SpongeBob here is playing the game of golf. So you could see in a minute, we will color in that golf club he is using. And you could see that golf ball down there at the very bottom. So let's continue to work around the eyes here and we'll move on to those in just a little bit. And if you want to see any other SpongeBob coloring pages here on the channel, just let me know if you have any other favorite characters from SpongeBob SquarePants. We can do those together here step by step on Sam's Cool Colors. Just leave me a comment and we can always work on doing those together in the future. So now let's color in the rest of SpongeBob's face right here above the mouth. We want to color this in around the eyes. Just be very careful not to get inside of those eyes. And let's get that nose, SpongeBob's famous nose. And we can continue to work our way down and around. We have the mouth and let's color in the rest of SpongeBob's face. If we're moving a little fast, you can always hit that pause button and jump right in when you're ready. Okay. so. Now let's go on and color in SpongeBob's face here on the bottom, right below the arm there. Now we need to color in SpongeBob's arm. So let's go start from the bottom and work our way up if you want to do it that way, or you can go in the opposite direction, but let's work that long arm and hands that are holding that golf club. And let's also do the other arm that's in the back. As we know, SpongeBob does a lot of fun activities, but I thought this one was a lot of fun to color in together. And once you finish out with that, we can move on to our next color, which will be red. So in your art box, find the color red and let's go ahead and use red in a few different places together. We're going to use red first on the inside of SpongeBob's mouth. So we have the tongue and the back of his mouth. Let's leave the tongue for now and let's just color in right over here in the inside of SpongeBob's mouth and leaving those teeth white. Make sure not to color those in and we can just continue to work around the inside of 
SpongeBob's mouth. He looks really excited here to get ready to hit that golf ball. Okay, so with the red, now let's color in the tie that we see here for our SpongeBob. So let's color this in red, just like that. And also this, this part right here, we want to color in red as well. So those little areas right towards the front of SpongeBob's shirt, we will make red. So let's move on to the next color, which is going to be pink. So take a moment to find pink in your art box and let's go ahead and use this in one very small spot, which is the tongue in SpongeBob's mouth. So take a moment to just put that pink right in there, right on that tongue, just like that. And then we can move on to our next color, which will be blue. So in your art box, if you have a blue, any blue, I chose a bright blue, which is a Crayola gel effects blue. You can use that and we'll use this on SpongeBob's eyes. So as we know, SpongeBob has some nice bright blue eyes. So I am going to use it right in there. And if you want your page to be a little unique or different, you can color SpongeBob's eyes any color you want. That's the wonderful thing about creativity and artwork and coloring, especially here at Sam's Cool Colors. I encourage everyone to be as creative as you want to be and just doing your best and forgetting the rest. Excellent. So we have our SpongeBob eyes colored in. Now they're bright blue and we can move on to our next color, which will be gray. So in your art box, find the color gray and let's go ahead and use it on a few different places. Let's go and start with the actual golf club. So at the very top, you can color that in with the gray in your hand and just continue to move along just like that. And it gets a little thin here when as you move down your golf club. So just be very careful and trying to stay within the lines and sharpen your crayon if you can do that or if you have a thin marker that will work terrific as well and just color that bottom piece of the golf club so now our golf club is gray and we want to also now color in spongebob shoes so let's color spongebob shoes in gray just to give them a little color so you can use the back you can color in the front as well with the gray golf shoes and let's do the same thing on the right side. So let's color that in with that same gray. And right over here, same thing, just like that. Beautiful, you're all doing a terrific job today. So now we're moving on to our last color, which is going to be green. So take a moment and find green in your art box. And we're going to use it to finish coloring in SpongeBob's golf outfit. And let's start out right here at the very top with SpongeBob's golf hat. So once you have that green, start out at the top and work your way down. So let's start here and work our way down. We can color in the front of the cap as well with the same color, just like that. And just outline it as you go if it makes it a little easier for you to stay within the lines. I know it helps me quite a bit. So let's continue to move as we go. And now, now that we have the hat, we wanna match the rest of his outfit with that color. So over here, let's leave this area in white, but right here where we see the same pattern, we want that in green as well. So let's color in SpongeBob's body right here up to this area in that same green. So his pants will match the hat and he'll have a nice looking golf outfit that matches while he's playing. So let's continue to move along and keep going all the way, color around that tie and just finish out with SpongeBob's pants. Now we'll move down to the legs, just like this and start out on the left leg. He has his legs bent a little bit because he is ready to hit that ball as far as he can. Beautiful. And now let's move on to the right leg here. And once we finish with the right leg, there's one other little spot we wanna use with our green. So, so keep it near. And once we're finished here with 
that bottom part of his outfit, let's actually put a little bit of green right where the grass is. So the golf ball and the tee that the golf ball is on sit on the grass. So he's getting ready to hit it, but let's make a little green color right here because this does look like grass. So it just represents a little bit of grass that's underneath where the golf ball usually is. Gives a little more color to the page, adds a little something to it. So feel free to go as big or small as you want in that particular area. So now we finished coloring SpongeBob playing golf together using seven colors.